In this video, we're going to look at examples of using and declaring variables, how to display the results of a program on a chart, and how to make a variable modifiable by a user in the program settings window. We're first going to take the very simple program here with just one variable, var1 equals 100. The advantage of using ProBuilder is that we can easily display the result of this program on our chart. We just enter the instruction return var1 and then click add indicator to chart. We see here that the indicator my indicator has a value of 100 from the beginning to the end. So that's just our variable being returned on the chart. Let's open this up to modify our program again by clicking on the wrench here and then on Modify Indicator. Now let's add an additional variable. For example, my result equals 100 divided by 4. We did a simple mathematical division here. Let's return two variables on the chart. To return two variables, I just add a comma and add the second variable, my result. I'll now have a program that returns both var1 and my result. Let's check. So here we see my result 25 from the beginning to the end and var1 100 from the beginning to the end. Let's open it up again. Now let's see how to use one variable in the calculation of another variable. For the calculation of my result, I'm going to replace 100 with var1, which is also equal to 100. This should give the same result. Let's check on the chart. We see here that the result has not changed. Now let's delete var1 in the return instruction to only show my result. An important thing to note about variables is that variables must be actually used in the program. For example, if I take out var1 here and just enter 100, the variable var1 is no longer used in the program and it's no longer returned. So if I click add indicator to chart here, the program will tell me that there's a syntax error. The variable is not used in the code var1. This is because if we're not using a variable, it's consuming memory for no reason. So we should just delete this variable. If we don't want to delete the variable, we can also comment it. To comment a line of code, you just put two slashes before it, and then the code will appear in gray. Commented code is not taken into account in the execution, and so when we click Add Indicator to Chart, it will work. In ProBuilder, we can also externalize variables to a settings window, meaning it will be possible for the user of the code to define the value of the variable without modifying the code itself or even opening it. Let's see how to do that. First, we'll delete this commented line. Then, we're going to add the variable var1 by clicking here on the wrench or clicking here on the add link. This opens the definition of variables window. Then we just enter the label in the program of the variable, so var1 here, and click add. Now this variable has been added. We see the label in the program, the type, which can be integer, decimal, or boolean, and also something else called ma type, which is just a type of moving average, but that's not what our main goal is to talk about here, so we'll come back to that later. The default value of 1 we can set to 100, and then click close. 
So here we see the list of variables in our program with their default values. Now let's add the indicator to the chart again and we'll open the settings window and we see here our variable VAR1 which we can actually increase or decrease directly from the settings window without even having to open the code. Since the type of variable we've defined here is an integer, we can only use integer values for the variable. If you enter a decimal, for example 100.5, you'll get an error message. If you want to use decimals, you would need to just go back into the properties window and choose the decimal type instead of integers.